Because I don't know exactly where it's at, but I know I read it in the Gospel of the Holy Twelve. Because hell, that's, that's how you get your compelled freaking Gospels anyway. You got your Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John from Gospel of the Holy Twelve, okay? Gospel of the Holy Twelve is way older than your Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, okay? All right, hold on a second. Let me just go to Gospel of the Holy Twelve and see if I can find it. I should be able to find it. I need to start labeling stuff better, bro. I started doing it a little bit, but um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I label any of my gospel of the Holy Twelves with, you know, the past, what it, like what it's saying, like keywords. Um, I started doing that for the Bible, like different Bible scriptures. I started putting keywords so I can find it quicker, but I ain't done that for the gospel of the Holy Twelve. All right. <clears throat> second I will find it I will find it here we go <clears throat> mm -hmm. this is gonna be coming out of lecture 46 okay now and this is going to give you a little bit more fullness of, of what the seal portion is saying, okay? Because you, you um, so-called Negroes out there, you know, I understand that we are the actual uh, physical bloodline of Israel, okay? But you sitting here talking down on, on the Gentiles and these other nations trying to seal up heaven and you yourselves may not even enter in, okay? Now, some of them are Israel, okay? Some of these other nations are spiritual Israel upon the earth, okay? Celestial seed, okay? And I'm going to start in verse 7. Lection 46, the name of it is the Transfiguration on the Mount, the Giving of the Law, okay? Now, I'm going to start in verse 7. And the Messiah said unto them, Behold, a new law I give unto you, which is not new, but old, even as Moses gave the Ten Commandments to Israel after the flesh, so also I give unto you the twelve for the kingdom of Israel after the Spirit. Okay? For who are the Israel of the Most High? Even they of every nation and tribe who work righteousness, love mercy, and keep my commandments. These are are the true Israel of the Most High. And standing upon his feet, the Messiah spoke, saying, okay, he, he gives commandments there, but I'm not going to get into that. I got the gist of what I wanted. The Israel of the Most High in these days is those who work righteousness, love mercy, and keep the eternal laws. You keep the eternal commandments, okay? What are the eternal commandments? Love the Most High with all life power. Love the Most High with all your heart, soul, and body. Okay? Love your neighbor as you do yourself. Okay? Be pure before the eyes of your maker. 
All right. And if you love the most high, you would not want to cause harm to any of his creation. Therefore, you would not feast upon the dead bodies of his innocent beloved animals. Okay. Now, I know that this is hard for some of you. All right. But all you have to do is be willing to keep his commandments and you ask him to help you and he will help you okay he he will be there to help you wean yourself off of eating rotten corpses okay there is no nutritional value whatsoever in a dead body okay you cannot get any nutrition out of a dead body okay it's a corpse it belongs in the ground okay now, that's all I'm going to say on that. Let's get back to the seal portion. <clears throat> all right. And they shall be known and accounted for by Yahushua. They who keep his true eternal commandments. Okay. They who work righteousness upon the earth. Okay. Those who are pure before him. They're not lascivious. Okay. They're not out here having sex. All right. They're, they're pure. Okay. <clears throat> They're not out here showing their body off, okay? They're not whoremongers, all right? They're not into polygamy, okay? And now, before these great natural disasters shall be allowed to occur by the commandment of Yahusha to prepare the earth, to prepare the earth for his coming, the gospel of the Messiah shall be given to the elect of the earth and their stumbling blocks shall be taken away so that they might see more clearly the true gospel of the Messiah. Now this has happened for some of us. Okay. That's why we have been purged in this fire. Okay. We've been purged in the fire of adversity. My whole life has been a purging through the fire of adversity. So that way I can come out, you know, and give his word with crystal clarity. Okay. And I'm not saying that I'm perfect because I'm still a work in progress. Verse 60. And when the elect have received the fullness of the gospel, which is the seal of the most high in their foreheads, then they shall begin to prepare themselves for the coming of Yahushua. I have been preparing myself and in the process of preparing myself, he has given me work to do in the vineyard and I keep busy with the work that he's given me. So that way I don't go back off into the world, into the things that had me stumbling around in the dark. Okay. I walk in the spirit 100%. Okay. And there shall be some of the elect who shall gather together and unite in their desires to obey the commandments of the Father in following the example of the Messiah. Nevertheless, there shall not be a universal gathering of the elect into one place before the coming of Yahusha. For there shall be many who shall be one of a city and a few of a nation therefore it shall not be wise for them to be gathered together at that time for if they are all gathered together then shall the beast destroy them okay we are the hidden ones all right now i don't walk in fear i will put this word out by the leading of the spirit with no fear i don't fear those that can destroy my body they can't destroy my spirit and as long as the father wants me on this earth in this physical body i'm gonna be here doing the work that he's given to me okay and it shall come to pass that the elect of the most high shall begin to prepare themselves for the coming of the messiah in the glory 
glory of the Father, and they shall have the Holy Spirit with them to teach them whatsoever is required of them, so that they may be prepared for those events that shall lead up to the great and dreadful day of Yahusha. And to the elect, okay, this is to us. And to the elect, this day shall not be dreadful. But in that day, we're going to rejoice. We're going to praise the Most High for the gift of His Son. Yeah, we're going to praise Him. It's not going to be a distress for us. This is not our tribulation that is coming upon the earth right now. Why do you think I have no fear? I have no fear whatsoever. I have a peace about me. Okay, there is inner peace that I have. I am at peace. Okay, I got no fear because I walk in the power of the Most High and I keep His eternal law. Okay, now if I was living in wickedness, I would be afraid. <laughs> I would have a lot to fear if I was walking in wickedness. You wicked need fear. And so that ye might have no more confusion among you concerning the number of 144,000 who shall be sealed in their foreheads. I would that ye should know that John used these numbers symbolically as a representation of all the nations of the earth who shall have the gospel among them. Okay, it's not going to be exactly 144,000. <clears> okay, uh, it's not going to be an exactly 144,000 people, it's going to be numberless. It's going to be so many that it's going to be numberless. All right. And this reference of symbolism is given that it might be shown that the elect are scattered throughout the nations of the earth, as are the twelve tribes of Israel. But from each tribe, or from each nation, there shall be those who are elect, who give heed to the word of the Most High, and receive His Spirit, that they might not suffer from the coming of His Son into the world. Okay, and we're not going to suffer these judgments that are coming either. He's going to protect us, even though we're going to see it happen. We're going to see the destruction of our enemies. Okay, we're going to see the destruction of the wicked. Okay, but it shall not come nigh thee. Now, the number of these is not significant. But it is used as an example, for there shall be many elect upon the earth, even many more than 144,000, but their number shall be small in comparison to the number of those who are not elect and do not have the seal of the Most High written in their foreheads. Nevertheless, the elect are numbered and known by Yahusha and his holy angels, known by the Messiah and his holy angels. And now, the sealed portion of this record shall go throughout the world, as well as the unsealed record of my Father, and all the elect shall know of the great blessings that are contained herein, even the truth of all things since the beginning of time until the end of time. And because they shall know these things, both by the words of this record and also by the voice of of the spirit which shall be with them they shall be prepared in all things and they shall not suffer the wrath of the most high as it is poured out upon the kingdom of satan is it not what i just said did i not come out with a series already called protection of the righteous 
You should check out these older videos of mine, okay? Because they were led by way of the Spirit. This channel was started by way of the Spirit, okay? By the leading of the Spirit. This channel was of the Most High. I didn't do this in and of myself, okay? And then shall the words of the Messiah unto his disciples be fulfilled, which he spoke concerning the days prior to his coming, when he said, For I say unto you, that ye shall not see me henceforth, and know that I am he of whom it is written by the prophets, until ye shall say, Blessed is he who cometh in the name of the Messiah in the clouds of heaven, and all the holy angels angels with him then understood his disciples that he should come again on the earth after that which he was glorified and crowned on the right hand of the of the father and the messiah went out and departed from the temple and his disciples came to him for to hear him saying master show us concerning the buildings of the temple as thou hast said they shall be thrown down and left unto you desolate <clears throat> and the Messiah said unto them, See ye not all these things, and do you not understand them? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here upon this temple one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And the Messiah left them and went upon the Mount of Olives. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when these things shall be. Tell us when these things be which thou has said concerning the destruction of the temple and the Israelites and what is the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world or the destruction of the wicked which is the end of the world and the Messiah answered and said unto them take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and shall deceive many. And then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for the sake of my name. Wonder why I was hated all my life. Not just by other nations, but by my own people, okay? All my life, by my own family, okay? Now, they won't admit that they hate me, okay? Because they don't even, they don't even see it as hate, okay? They don't see it as hate. They love me in their own way. But they don't love me the way that the Father loves me. And if they did not hate me, they wouldn't shun me the way that they do, okay? They rarely talk to me me they don't they don't really want to have anything to do with me that's hate okay they they don't like me because I am not like them I am not of this world I am clearly different okay and I have always been different and I have always been hated by majority of people okay and that has always been a question on my heart and in my spirit. Like, Father, why, why is my life so hard? And, and why does it seem like I'm hated by everybody? How come I don't fit in anywhere? How come I'm just an outcast of everybody? Nobody wants to include me. You know, everybody hates me. Why is this, Father? And he, he explained to me because I, I have set you apart. You, you are set apart. You are not of this world. Like, he has called me from the beginning, okay? And that's why all my life, my life has been held upon this earth, okay? <clears throat> now, <sighs> goodness, all right? 74, we're getting there. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another, and many false prophets shall arise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that remaineth steadfast, and is not overcome, the same shall be saved. 
<clears throat> when ye therefore shall see again the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet concerning the destruction of Jerusalem, then ye shall stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Okay, then ye shall stand in the holy place. Who shall readeth, let him understand. Okay, whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them who are in Judea flee into the mountains, and let him who is in the housetop flee, and not return to take up anything out of his house. Neither let him who is in the field return back to take his clothes. And woe unto them who are with child, and unto them who give suck in those days. See, what is this? This is talking about the destruction of Israel, okay? This is when the bloodline, the physical bloodline of Israel went through our destruction. Okay, and all of the righteous Gentiles that were cleaving to us, okay, many of the other nation, the mixed multitude that were actually walking in righteousness, okay, and, and they were following in the footsteps of the Messiah and the disciples, and they had the true gospel, okay, they were allowed to be destroyed, okay, it, during the Inquisition and all of that, the time of the Gentiles, they were they they were allowed to kill both the righteous and the unrighteous. Okay, this was great tribulation that already happened. Okay, this already happened. Great tribulation. Jacob's trouble has already happened. Okay, and the physical bloodline of Israel has been going through Jacob's trouble for hundreds of years. Okay, and we're still, we're still in captivity as we have to pay rent on stolen land. We still have to go to grocery stores and buy our food. Those of us that ain't got the means to have a garden. Okay, verse 78. Therefore, pray ye to Yahusha that your flight not be in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then in those days shall be great the tribulation on the Israelites and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Okay, this, this was the great tribulation upon the tribe of Judah. Okay, such as was not before sent upon Israel of the Most High since the beginning of their kingdom until this time. No, nor ever shall be sent again upon Israel. But guess who it is going to be sent upon? Those that took Israel into captivity. Okay? Their plagues is going to be so great as it has never even been heard of. Okay? The tribulation that's coming upon the earth right now is going to be so great, it hadn't even been heard of. Okay? That's how great this tribulation is going to be on you wicked. Okay? So you wicked need fear. Alright? The righteous need not fear. All things which have befallen them are only the beginning of the sorrows which shall come upon them. We're in 2022, and we're still going through this. As they slander Kanye West and Kyrie Irving in their media, how they have suspended Kyrie without pay. How they use their power to continue to destroy us, to try to silence us. We can still clearly see it. We can still clearly see the persecution of the so-called black man in the days that we're living in. Okay? All things which have befallen them are only the beginning of the sorrows which shall come upon them. 
Now this happened in what? 70 AD? The destruction of Jerusalem? Based upon what these heathens say? 70 AD. Mm -mm -mm. And to this day, Israel, primarily the tribe of Judah, still going through persecution and affliction in the land of our enemies. But yet they want us to apologize. They want us to apologize. They want Kyrie to apologize for posting a link on his personal Twitter. They're literally punishing this man for not apologizing when these people have been paid billions of reparations. So yeah, they, they, they suffered, okay? But have they not been restored as a people? Are they not being restored? Are they, are they not continuously donated to? Are not they receiving billions of dollars every single year in donations? What has the Negro received? Has the Negro been repaired as a people? No, we haven't. But yet we must come and apologize. We must apologize for posting a link on Twitter. Never mind our struggle. Screw you niggas. You niggas don't mean nothing. Bow down. Lay your body as the ground so that we may go over. And we've laid our body as the ground to you who went over. Let's continue. All these things which have befallen them are only the beginning of the sorrows which shall come upon them. And except those days should be shortened, there should none of their flesh be saved. But for the sake of the elect, according to the covenant, those days shall be shortened. Behold, these things I have spoken unto you concerning the Israelites of the tribe of Judah. And again, after the tribulation of those days, which shall come upon Jerusalem, if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is the Messiah, or there, believe him not. For in those days there shall also arise false messiahs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if possible, they shall deceive the very elect, who are the elect according to the covenant. Okay? Behold, I speak these things unto you for the sake of the elect. And you, who also shall hear of wars, and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled, for all I have told you must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Behold, I have told you before, wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in a desert, go not forth, Aren't they trying to say that the Messiah is over there in that created state of Israel right now? Aren't they trying to say that the Messiah has returned? Or if they say, Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. For as the light of the morning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, and covereth the whole earth, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. That means every eye gonna see him, and it cannot be denied. That means that sky gonna crack open, okay? And the man that you see coming out of that sky ain't gonna be what you have been conditioned to look forward to, okay? It's gonna be a whole black man, all right? A whole so-called black man with woolly hair, okay? Copper color, all right? He gonna be a so-called Negro, 
okay? And many of you are going to gnash your teeth in anguish. Many of you are going to wail. Many of you are going to ask the rocks to fall on you. You're going to want to die. Verse 83. And now I show unto you a parable. Behold, wheresoever the carcass is, there the eagles be gathered together. Wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. So likewise shall mine elect be gathered from the four quarters of the earth. And they shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Behold, I speak for the sake of mine elect. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. And again, because iniquity shall abound, the love of men shall wax cold. But he that shall not be overcome, the same shall be saved. And again, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come or the destruction of the wicked. And again shall the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet be fulfilled. And immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Verily I say unto you, this generation in which these things shall be shown forth shall not pass away until all I have told you shall be fulfilled. Okay? What do you see you do not understand? What is it that you do not understand? Generation X marks the spot. Okay? Generation X marks the spot. We have been awakened for a reason in these days to give you this word for your salvation. Okay? Now. And as I have said before. After the tribulation of those days, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken, then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Yeah, they're going to be mourning because it's going to be a so-called Negro coming out of that sky. And they looked for and they hoped that it was going to be a blonde-haired, hippie-looking white dude. Mm, mm, mm. And whoso treasureth up my word shall not be deceived. For the Son of Man shall come, and he shall send his angels before him with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together the remainder of his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. So his people are going to be gathered before the Messiah ever come. Like I said, we're going to be protected, okay? The destroyer is still coming upon this earth. And when a destroyer comes upon the earth, we ain't going to be here to behold that sight. We, we, we ain't going to see the destroyer. You know, we may be able to see it from afar. Well, we're protected. But we ain't going to be here going through it with you. Okay? You know, that whole rapture doctrine, 
They polluted it. They perverted it because the rapture, you don't, even, you don't even understand that that passage where it says one shall be taken and one left, that that passage is actually talking about the one taken is actually the one that's going to die. Okay. And the one that was left preserved, that's the one that's spared. Okay. But the true so-called rapture is what this is talking about right here. Okay. The gathering. The second exodus, okay? The second exodus is actually what, what you're looking for, all right? And, and that's what the chariots, the chariots, all right? The so-called UFOs, okay? Yeah, they're going to be coming for his elect, okay? He's going to send his angels. To the four corners of the earth, from one end of the heaven to the other, to gather his elect from the four winds. Okay? This is going to be your so called UFOs coming to gather his elect. Okay? Before the um, destroyer comes. Okay? And before the Messiah comes. All of these things has to be fulfilled. Okay? Now. Verse 91, now learn a parable of the fig tree. Now, I already came out with a video about this fig tree. Okay, check it out. All right, I'll put a little tag here for it, a little card. So, I'll, I'll try to remember to put the card for the other one too, the um, Protection of the, of the Righteous series. And then also um, the, the miniature series that I did on the Destroyer. All of this is connected, people. Okay, all of this is connected. Make sure you check these out, all right? Um, the Father led me to do these for a reason. It is to help you, okay? Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When its branches are yet tender, and it beginning to put forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh at hand. So in my own life, in my own life, the leaves have already begun to grow, okay? There's fruit produced in my life with his word that has become alive within me, okay? So likewise, mine elect, when they shall see all these things, they shall know that he is near, even at the doors. But of that day and hour, no one knoweth. No, not the angels of the Most High in heaven, but my Father only. But as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the coming of the Son of Man. For it shall be with them as it was in the days which were before the flood. For until the day that Noah entered into the ark, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage and knew not until the flood came and took them all away so shall also the coming of the son of man be because many of you are stiff necked many of you don't even care you don't care to know the truth you just want to continue to live your life lavishly but that's going to come to a halt very soon all right and he's going to cause it to come to a halt He's, he's going to allow tribulation to come upon you. So that way you may seek him. See, while you're living lavishly, you got no reason to seek the Father. You, that, you know, my life had to be hell because I was meant to seek the Father, okay? I had to find out why my life was hell, okay? If... I had have had an easy life. I never would have had a reason to seek the Father to find out why my life was hell. Okay? So all you people living lavishly, you ain't had no reason to seek the Most High, giver of the breath of life. Oh, but you will. You will. Here very shortly, you're going to have so much tribulation coming upon you, you are going to begin to seek the Father. Okay? Those of you who are meant to anyway, the rest of you are just going to curse him. Okay? 
Then shall be fulfilled that which is written, that in the last days two shall be in the field, the one shall be taken, and the other left. Two shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken, and the other left. And what I say unto thee, and what I say unto one, I say unto all men, Watch, therefore, for ye know not at what hour the Messiah does come. But know this, if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched, and would not have suffered his house to have been broken up, but would have been ready. Therefore, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man cometh. Who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord has made ruler over his household, to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant, whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. And verily I say unto you, he shall make him a ruler over all his goods. So those of us that are doing the work in his vineyard, that's what you will want to be doing. You, you will want to be doing what he gives you to do, okay? The talents that he has given to us, we are to utilize that for the work of the kingdom, okay? That's what we are here for. We're not here to be slaves for this beast system, to further the progress of the beast. No, we're here to further the kingdom of the Father, to reap the harvest, okay? Alright, I guess somebody is mad that I'm, like, doing this, but, <laughs> um, let me finish this up. So, somebody, somebody is literally, like, tapping on this. It's not even that late, bro. Let me do what I gotta do. I'm almost done. Alright, so reap the harvest, okay? Um, that's what we're supposed to be doing in this season, okay? We're supposed to be reaping the harvest, okay? Blesses that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. And verily I say unto you, he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunken, and the Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder, and shall appoint him his portion with the hypocrites, and there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And thus cometh the end of the wicked, according to the prophecy of Moses, saying, They shall be cut off from among the people, but the end of the earth is not yet, but by and by. And now, Yahushua spoke these things unto his disciples, that they might have a better understanding of the will of the Father concerning the destruction of Jerusalem in those days, and also of the last days. And for the sake of the elect, he has said these things. And also, for the sake of the elect, have I these things, which have been sealed come which have been sealed, come forth unto them. For there shall be none but the elect of the Most High, who shall receive these things, and believe in them, that they might prepare themselves more fully for the coming of Yahushua. And in this record shall the elect have the time given within the year of the coming of the Messiah. If it so be that ye shall ponder upon the things which the Messiah hath commanded 
enemy to write unto you. And there shall be those of the latter days who shall claim that the Messiah, that the Messiah has said that no man shall know the time of his coming. Yeah, the Messiah did not say that no man shall know the time of his coming. Only that no man shall know the day and the hour of his coming. And when the year hath arrived that hath been revealed unto you in this record, then shall it come to pass, as in the days of Nephi, when the prophecy was given by the prophet Samuel the Lamanite, in which he prophesied, saying, Behold, I give unto you a sign. For five years more cometh, and behold, then cometh the Son of the Most High to redeem all those who shall believe on his name. And now, my brothers and sisters, yea, even all you of the latter days who shall receive these things, did not Samuel give unto the people the exact year in which the Messiah was said to come into the world? Hmm? And even though the people were given this sign, they did not repent at that day. For when that year came, the people began to doubt and say amongst themselves, Behold, the time is past, and the words of Samuel are not fulfilled. Therefore, your joy and your faith concerning this thing has been in vain. And now, this they said, because they did not know the day and the hour of his coming. Nevertheless, they did know the exact year, as has been prophesied by Samuel the Lamanite. And now, my brothers and sisters, I would that ye should search these things which Yahushua has commanded me to give unto you in this record. Behold, they are faithful and true, and every word shall be fulfilled which is written upon these plates. And if you search these things, you shall come to know many of the mysteries of the Most High, and also the will of the Father concerning all of his children upon this earth. Shalom.